Hey you guys, so <clears throat> I'm gonna switch it up again. So, um, <clears throat> hang on. <clears throat> so, um, I'm going through my palettes right now to give some away. Um, so I thought I would just come on and show you guys all the different palettes that I have. Um, these are eyeshadow palettes. I have a couple blush palettes, but most of these are eyeshadow palettes. Um, so this is the, hang on. Okay. So this is the MAC, um, wrist taker palette. This was limited edition. And that's a highlighter and those are the colors and then this is the mac queen supreme palette again this was limited edition i picked up both of these at tj maxx i think it was like two years ago maybe like three years ago a highlighter and some cool toned warm cool tone warms cool tone neutrals and this is the Nomad palette. Um, this is the <clears throat> Berlin Underground palette. I actually got this in Ipsy a few years ago and I haven't used it that much, but I really love this palette and I'm gonna pull this one back out again. But this one, <clears throat> it is super, super pigmented. Like, yeah. And then this red right here, it looks like a burgundy. And these are super, super soft too. <clears throat> I hope you guys can hear me okay. I have the phone like propped up. Um, it's propped up and like the speaker part is kind of covered a little bit. And then I have this one. This is one of my absolute favorites. This is um, from the crayon case. Um, this is the box of crayons eyeshadow palette and I have it backwards. It's kind of dirty because I've had it for like four, four years, I think. Um, and there is that one. Um, this, like one of my favorites, um, like look at that gold. I mean, that gold is popping. Um, and then like this red is ridiculous i mean all of these colors are i mean literally they're just as pigmented on the skin as they are in the pan and then there's that green right there um yeah this is a, and you can still get this too you just have to look up um the crayon case um uh make a uh, eyeshadow palette and then we have sorry i have them all like behind my phone this ooh, this i have not started using yet i got this in my ipsy about a year ago this is the patrick star one size um eyeshadow palette um like i've just swatched it but i haven't used it but i do i am going to use this because i do love the colors in this i like that it has like these matte neutrals right here these are super good for blending um, and then that peach tone is gorgeous. And then you have that highlight. And then this really pretty color called Rebel Gray. It's like a glittery. Oh my God, these are so soft. It's crazy. I love that you can't, it's got like a purple tint to it. It is so pretty. Oh my God. But um, yeah, I cannot wait. Yeah, I like to use one palette at a time. I'm just like OCD like that. So. I have a Tarte palette that I'm using. I've been using that for like a year. So, yeah. And then I have these two palettes. This one is a blush palette. This is from Lovecraft Beauty, again, Ipsy. And it's just three blushes. Um, I feel like, oh, excuse me. They might be like too warm for me. Um, I don't really want to, my hands are like stained right now, but yeah, they're not, they're not that pigmented. I, I don't know. I mean, I guess I'll use it, but eh. 
This is from Seraphine Botanicals. This is the Sakura and Sage Vegan Eyeshadow and Blush Palette. Super pretty. Again, Ipsy. I would never buy this on my own. Um, so you have two blushes at the top and then your eyeshadows down here. It's pretty basic. Um, you know, nothing spectacular. And then this one is from Makeup by Aaliyah. This is a small business. Um, I've been buying from her for the past couple years. Um, she has basically everything. And this is the glitter palette that I bought from her last year. It is so gorgeous. Um, I'm going to do this blue. And like these glitters are so creamy. It is insane. Oh my gosh. That's the glitter right there. And then let's do, let's do this one. That one looks kind of weird because my fingers are stained with eyeshadow underneath. I don't know if you can see. Where did I just put that at? Oh, right here. There it is right there. Can you hear my baby laughing in the background? <laughs> but yeah, I love this palette so much. Oh my God, beautiful, beautiful. Um, okay. I'm just like wiping all this on my pants. Okay, the next one, I love this palette. This is the Urban Decay um, Moon Dust Palette. Again, I found this at TJ Maxx, I think it was, for like $15. And it is so pretty, um, y'all. This palette with some lashes on, I'm telling you, is the shit. There's one of the colors. I'm like running out of room. Oh, maybe you can, right there, there it is. Come back some. Um, and then um, graphic is, I mean not graphic, um, granite is super, super pretty. I'm gonna put that right there. You can see like when it hits the light but all of these are like you can't see it because i mean i probably shouldn't have put it right there but anyway um all of these are super pretty and they're super super glittery there's no mattes in here and they just look so gorgeous on the eyes um let's see another one this what the fuck? um this one is the nyx um sweet cheeks blush palette um I have not dug into this. I've had this for a few years. Um, I just haven't, you know, gotten around to using it. I've been using other blushes. And this one is broke somewhere because there's black plastic coming off. Anyway, Ipsy a couple years ago. Um, yeah, I'm super excited, though, to use this pink right here. Mm. You know, I forgot that I have another hand. That I can swatch on and there is that one and all of these are mattes except for this top three right here this one could definitely be comparable to like orgasm by NARS um it's just like a sheer you can't really see it because I'm so pale and it's kind of dark in here but um yeah I really can't wait to start using that one and then that's awesome. And then we have this is from the Balm. This is the Auto Balm Pick Perf um, eyeshadow palette. Um, I've used this a few. Bro, this primer is like crusty almost now because like it's been that long since I've used it. Anyway, the eyeshadows in this are super super small. Um, that's the primer right there. Um, I've used it a few times. It's all right, but again, you know, it's just. I have so many eyeshadow palettes and it's hard to use up all these because I don't like to waste anything. So, yeah. And this, oh, this is one of my favorites. I have not dug, dug into this one yet. A lot of these are some of my favorites. This is the Doucet, um Freematic Eyeshadow Pro Palette. Um, the packaging kind of reminds me of Chanel. It's that black sleek packaging and it's very um like heavy and that's what it looks like so, i mean like these eyes like this 
this is quality. Like this is, I mean, gorgeous, gorgeous quality. That black. And these shadows are so super soft. And then this one is a highlight. I cannot get this off. Hang on. I can't get, okay, here we go. This is uh, the highlight that comes in it. And it is so pretty. I'm gonna put it right there. I don't think you'll be able to see that. Right there. Yeah, you can't really see that, but anyways, it's like a golden, like, champagne type highlight. And I love it. Um, okay. And then this one, this is the Smashbox Cover Shot Ablaze Eye Palette. Um, these are more like warm colors. Again, I have not used this yet. Um, that orange is pretty interesting though. And it's pretty pigmented too. I'm gonna do a double swatch so you can see it over my tattoo. What? Huh? I can't right now. You come here. Okay, and then there is this Huda Beauty palette, which I'm not really, um, I've had it for a few years, and I just, I can't get with this palette, um, I don't know, I mean, I think these two are pretty, but I'm like, what is this cream sculpt shit gonna do? And I might wind up tossing this because that sculpt, it's streaky right there. Um, and it's like crusted over, but like, what is that going to do? Like, I'm not going to contour and sculpt anything with a shimmery cream luminizer. That's, that's not what I doing. Then. Okay. And then this is the Tetris. Um, so basically Ipsy and Tetris like collabed like three or four years ago. Um, and this was the palette they came out with. Like, I've swatched it, but I just, I've just never used it. Damn, it don't even look like I swatched this damn thing. Um, this one is cute, but I mean, that's dark as fuck. Um, but I already have, oh, that's hella fallout. That one right there. Um, but in my other palette, I already have a lot. This one is really, I really do like this one though, but like a lot of these, like I have the same color in other palettes. So I don't know. I just, um, I don't know. I just don't really care for that one. Huh? Oh, her man here. Oh no, I'm just wiping all my pants. Um, and then this one, I haven't used, oh, there's something, something, that lipstick, probably. Um, this is the Moods palette from Laura Sanchez. Whoops, that just fell out. Um, I've like dug into that one because it's too soft and, um, some of these I just don't care for. And that's that one right there. But, like, the other colors, I haven't really used. Like, that yellow is shit. This purple is okay. I mean, you would just have to really build that up because that's just, like, a sheer wash of purple. You're not going to get what you see in the pants with these ones. So, I just don't really use that one that much. Um, and then we have this one is the, um... It's from Wonder Beauty. They're actually in Sephora now. This is the Wondrous Seascape palette. But I got this way back when Wonder Beauty was like an indie, like underground brand. Like no one really knew who they were. They had just come out. I've used this quite a few times, as you can see. I'll probably wind up keeping that one. But again, like, you know, a lot of these palettes, especially from Ipsy, they come with the same fucking colors and it is so annoying. Oh my, like, look at that. Okay, that dark ass blue this dark ass blue and then I have another palette up there on my counter this a completely different fucking brand but again ipsy scent it and it's the same fucking color <sighs> so I'm 
That's why I stopped fucking with Ipsy, I'm telling you. All right. And I'm, I don't, I don't want that palette either. Okay. And then this one, I've used this one a couple times. This is the Betty Boot palette. Um, again, I've used it a couple times. It's kind of disappointing because the colors, the way like these colors present themselves and a, a lot of these colors, you would think that the pigmentation would be there. The quality would be how it looks like the quality would be in the pan. But I promise you, it's, it's not. Like, it's literally just not even worth it. Like, when you swatch it like that, you can't. Like, it looks like a peachy pink, right? When you swatch it on your finger, that's what it looks like. But then when you go to, like, I'm just going to, like, put it on your skin, it's like there's nothing there. Um, so, yeah. I just, some of, like, these off-brand palettes, that's, you know, like, why I stopped fucking with Ipsy because they send me shit that like nobody's ever fucking heard of and the quality is just trash and i'm just not with it but like the purple is okay but like the purple that's like the only one that's okay like all the rest of them there's just like there's hardly anything there when you swatch it i don't i don't know but just because it's betty boob i might wind up keeping that and then this was the first palette that i ever got from ipsy this is the violet voss hg fun size palette as you can tell, um, I've used this for a very long time. Um, low battery. Um, yeah. It's pretty. This one is actually, you know, more pigmented than a lot of the ones I just, like the last five of them I just showed you. Like, these are... pretty fucking pigmented like yeah so um those are all of them i think wait no i knew i was missing one i see and this one just came out of something i don't know what i'm just gonna throw that i don't know what that just came out of all right go back in there um oh wait there's i knew i was missing a couple of them okay there's what's my accutane okay so there's two more this is the huda beauty rose gold palette remastered now this is probably like the only palette like the only thing from huda that i actually give a fuck about okay first can we just talk about the packaging i mean you know it's gorgeous um, but these colors are super, super pretty. They are very similar to the one in this palette. Like, the color scheme. I mean, they're different brands, but do you know what I mean, though? Like, do you see what I mean? This is a different brand from this one, but Ipsy sent me both of them. Like, they just be on that same shit. Like, I just... I don't know, but I will keep this one. Like, this is more recent. Like, in the last year, I got this. And then, this is the In the Balm of Your Hand palette. Um, again, I just don't really care for this. I mean, it's just, like, a bunch of neutrals and some blushes. But, yeah, that's from the Balm. And that is everything. Well, not everything. I lied. I have another palette up there. It's the, it's the Tarte palette. It's the Tarte Dream Big Palette. Um, that one's up there, and I'm not going to get my fat ass up on the camera because that's not going to be very pretty. Um, but anyway, so that is all of my palettes. Um, I'm going to let you guys go, and I'm going to get ready for bed and get my children ready for bed. They should have already been in bed, but we went grocery shopping when my husband got off work tonight, and that kind of, like, threw things off. We wound up not even eating dinner until, like, 8 o'clock. Um, so, it's been a long day. I'm going to get everybody ready for bed now, and I will see you guys in my next video probably tomorrow. Bye.